Lamella. Lovely cushion header. Bajero! Oh, you beauty! Yes, guys, Tex here, and welcome back to my channel. And today we have a Steven Gerrard player review. And yes, I know I'm a Liverpool fan, I may be biased, but I'm excited for this one. So let's see how he is when I play with him. But before we get into the gameplay highlight, let's get into the team I was using. So, starting off in goal, we have the trustworthy Courtois. Moving on to the right back, we have Kyle Walker. This isn't actually the team I start the game in, this is the team I changed to in game, so, so yeah. Anything all this guy knows nothing about chemistry. Ah, oh, I do, I'm not that silly. But yeah, moving on, centre backs, we have Rio Ferdinand and Bang, Sergio Ramos. Or was it Sergio Ramos? I recorded this a few, few weeks ago, so was it Sergio Ramos? I'm not sure, it's either Ramos or or the run, so so yeah. Left back we had Alexandro. In CDM we have none other than the one and only. We have the best CDM on the game, and it has to be Patrick Vieira. There he is. Like this guy is incredible. But moving on at left centre mid, we had the main man on FIFA 19, Paul Pogba. Probably the best centre mid which isn't an icon, so if you can afford him, go out and get him. But that's my advice, and I don't know a lot, according to people. So just, if I was you, I'd get Pogba. But then, at Cam, at Cam, this is where it gets saucy. This is where it gets very saucy. We have Neymar Zito, as some people call him. But yeah, Neymar, he's, yeah, you can see his stats from me. He's quality as well. He's got the same amount of goals as assists, so it's pretty emotional. But yeah, left striker. I think we went with, hmm, I think it was Mbappe, yeah, there you go, Mbappe, the other striker was Ronaldo, and then obviously it leaves one more slot, which of, which of course was the best centre mid in Premier League history, the best English centre mid in history, and I'm not trying to sound biased, but like, it just is, let's be honest, we all know it, it is none other, my man. Steven Gerrard. Yeah, so that's the team that I was using. If you want to see the custom tactics and instructions for this, it is on a previous video, so go and watch that one. But yeah, this was the team I was using. And if it interests you, this was my manager as well. So what's better than one Steven Gerrard? It's two Steven Gerrards. So yeah, there you go. That was the team that I was using. But now we're going to get into the gameplay. But I don't want to disappoint you guys. But yeah, unfortunately, the gameplay is only... um. 360p so um yeah guys but seriously it is my first player review so don't abuse me too much in the comments appreciate it yeah thank you so we're into the gameplay and bang it's the first bit of highlights so it's a sign of what's to come but yeah goals assists like that we've got it all but uh yeah just we have to get a second angle on that assist you know the weight of pass it was just perfect he's winning it back as well so he, he's doing all of that and then I had to leave this in. It's so overpowered this FIFA. That El Tornado Bitey tutorial will be coming soon. So make sure to subscribe. Turn the notification bell so, so um, you're notified when my future videos do go live. But I've tried it again. It got saved this time. But I don't think that's the last time I'm trying it. I know this isn't really gel my pilots at the moment. But I just want to show this because... Yeah... Gerard into Mbappe, I think. Yeah, to Ronaldo. I actually lost it, but I managed to win it back on the heavy touch. And then I told you, don't think it's the last time I'm trying that. What's this? Gerard? Did I, did I try ping it? Oh, I got blocked. And I know I said about Gerard's passing, but take a look at this. Honestly, honestly, it is special for me. But, um,. Yeah, ignore what Neymar did after that, it's poor. And then another great pass from Steven. Like, his passing is so good. So good. Ignore what I did there, it's just irrelevant. But, honestly. It, the side foot shot as well, it kept doing that, so I couldn't get that many bangers in with Gerard. But, the best highlights are later in the video, so yeah. I probably should have finished that as well, but Courtois bit of good keeping, what can I do? And then one say, Den baby, look at that pass with Gerard. I'm not lying when I say this guy's passing is like 
better than anyone else's by far. Uh, what's this? Hey, right, cheeky little fake shot. And then the cypher again. It, it's like so infuriating. A nice little bit of a skill there. I sold the defender, but there's a poor shot from me. And then I've tried again to ping it. Saved again. Long shots are so difficult this year. That's the thing. I was trying to score bangers, but I just couldn't. Or could I? That was a decent little finish. Finesse near post. But yeah. See, with Gerard, let me explain a little bit with Gerard. Gerard, like, as, as you've seen, he's good at passing. He's got a decent shot on him. Um, but he turns like a truck. He turns like... You know, like, when you're on the M5 or, like, any motorway, and you're driving down, and then, like, in the slow aisle, or the first lane, I don't know what it's called, I don't drive. Hey, take a look at that. That's, that's good. But, away from that. But, like, you're going down, like, the slow aisle, and there's just a load of, there's a load of, like, Royal Mail lorries and stuff. Yeah. Like, that's what Gerard turns like, you get me? But, um, yeah. Gerard winning the ball back there. A few drag backs and a pinger. Like, that, that was poor. Can we ignore that? Oh, that was cool. A cheeky little finish there on his weaker foot. Gerard's only got three star weak foot on his card, but it should be more in my opinion. And then a Gerard type finish from I would say the edge of the box, but it was a little bit further in, but ignore that. The side foot again. I greened it, but it's still the side foot. I don't understand. Oi! Oi, 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 oi. I haven't watched this back yet, but don't lie to me, that was dirty. That was dirty. This is my live reactions to what I've recorded. So, um, hey, hey, that, that assist was dirty. But what I want to say as well is, Gerard again, what I want to say as well is that I'm not playing like awful players during this. I was Division 1 in Foot Chat. I was Division 1 in, not Foot Champs, in Foot Rivals, so like at the moment, that's against Bateson, before I was playing Dragon and just other pros, but to end the highlights, yeah, take a look at this, Ah, oh, it was a bit lucky, it went through uh, the wall, but still, it is what it is, it went in the goal and that's all what matters. So that now you've seen his highlights, let me go through his pros and his cons, let's start off with the first good thing about him, is passing. Like, it is so good. As you can see from the highlights, there's a few zingers in there which is ping from one end of the field to the other. And in general, his passing was, it was good. The first con though, and probably the only con, is that he can't turn. I explained to you about the, the lorry slash truck situation on the M5, or any motorway, it's just, just a little bit tragic but we can work past that with which it will be his second throw and that is his shooting like you can see the few a few of the bangers I scored in that video it was sensational like it really it really really was like those finesse top bins it's what he does it is what he does but yeah they're the pros we've had one com so let me tell you if I think he's worth it or not so Gerard's price at the moment is when it loads, I don't know why it's not loading. There you go. It's 1.6 mil. So, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna be biased. He's not worth it. I think if he came down to like 1.3 mil, 1.4 mil, then I would buy him and I'd use him in my squad. Um, actually, that that's a lie. I can't use him in my squad because I use the 4-2-3-1 formation and I need tall, like 6 foot 2 plus players whose priority is to defend rather than attack and Gerard doesn't suit that so I wouldn't use him but if he was 1.3 mil 1.4 1.2 I would recommend for you guys to go pick him up and give him a try of course he does have more versions of his card such as let me get it up his middle icon which is when well, I can get it up his middle icon which is to 1.2 mil so if you want to try Gerard but you can't afford his prime, just go for this one because it's. I think it'll be just as good, you know? So the final rating that I will give Gerard on FIFA 19 is a 7.5 out of 10. Which, yeah, he should be happy with, really. I will do more player reviews if you guys like this. You may think that's a harsh rating, but 
If I carry on to do player uh, reviews, you will see most players don't get very good ratings. So, it doesn't take away from the fact that he was the best midfielder in hi English history. And I'm not trying to create beef. I'm just stating facts. But yeah, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, peace.